let's just start off and tell us a little bit about it. Give us a little chord melody overview. Okay, well, uh, let's see. For this um, week, I chose the concept of, of playing chord melody, learning about the root bass note and the melody all alone. So now you could do this with any song just to jump right in. I chose the classic All the Things You Are, something similar to that. The reason why I chose this is because it's a bit of a challenge. It goes through a couple of different keys and it's a good piece to work on. So for instance, the first chord is F minor 7. So the root bass note would be F in the bass. The melody is an A flat. You put them together, you get a little two-part invention. The framework of the harmony, the low and the high. In steps two and three, we're going to put notes in the middle. So that's a basic overview of, of what I chose as the concept Throughout the week, we're going to be talking about different concepts as well. But this I found after a long time teaching, this and learning lots of songs, this is a great way to approach learning a song. It's a great way to approach learning the melody to a song. And it's a great way to approach learning the root bass note, which is your anchor of each chord of the song. So it's a great way to approach learning a song in general. Very cool. Yes. Yeah, so chord melody, you know, everyone loves the chord melody concept and everybody loves to be able to take, you know, a song, a popular song or a song they know and, you know, don't, maybe don't want to just play a single note melody because that gets a little boring after a while. So adding those other notes in there, adding a little bit of harmony to the melody is what really makes that chord melody sort of style come alive and, and sound, you know, like, like we love it to sound.